YouTube, back for another video. First one of 2024. Uh, we sort of had a bit of a quiet Christmas, uh, New Year period into spring. Not really done a great deal of van in terms of updates, modifications, etc. We have done a few things. We've had alignment redone. Uh, that's about it. Over winter, uh, surfacing MOT went really well. That were in November, so we're all ready to go for another summer. So. Back in early January, I bought uh, some H&R anti-roll bars. They were to go with the solo coilovers that I sort of bought uh, middle of last year, last summer. I think that was June, July they went on. And they're fantastic, but I just wanted to go that little bit more with the handling. Um, the coilovers are great. The ride is much improved, the handling is much improved, but there was still a little bit of body roll in them in the coilovers and uh, still a little bit of understeer uh, and this is the H&R anti-roll bars are the quite a common modification a lot of people use these a lot of people recommend them so I thought I'd give it a go as well and sort of for the relative cost of the coilovers adding these to them I'm going to get a lot more out of fitting the coilovers as well so these were fitted Monday today these were fitted last Wednesday I actually got to go down uh, sort of at tea time after work and actually spent a bit of time in pit and I got some video and just a little bit of footage uh, while we were um, uh, helping my mechanic fit them as well which were which were great really enjoyed that um, yeah we'll do a road test so this is not a fitting video what I'm going to do now is basically go out and just try and describe the handling to you because I probably couldn't do it now I probably need to be in the moment doing it so stick around uh, we, we're going to take it out, we're going to go around some roundabouts and I'll sort of try and let you know and review what these give you. Right, we're out road testing these H&R anti-roll bars. I brought it out just to a local dual carriageway or a local bypass, not dual carriageway, 60 mile national, national speed limit road. Uh, it's got plenty of roundabouts on it. If you follow Dark Side Development's channel, uh, this is the road that they actually do all their road testing on for their tuning. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Right, so for a road chip first roundabout, drop it down. It is wet today, so I'm not going to give it absolute berries. You drop it in, bring it in, and there's just no understeer whatsoever. I'm not breaking at all. A little bit of body roll, probably been a bit too quick then, but you just come out. There's no understeer at all. You point, you just point it where you want it, and it goes. So these roll bars, they have two settings, uh, a soft setting and a hard setting, or a stiff setting. I've got these set on the stiff, so if you didn't want it quite as aggressive, you could uh, just have it on the, on the softer setting, but the stiff setting, I'd recommend this one. If you want to sort of drive it, I definitely recommend a stiffer setting. Right, second round about. It's a bit more angle on this one. Just stop. Keep it rolling. Just keep it going. Just turn, turn it goes. I'm behind a 380D now, which is giving it some. I'm keeping it up with him. Out of bends. Just point. Point it where you want it and go. It's fantastic. I love it. So de definitely, definitely recommend getting a set of these. So that was my road test. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get a job <laughs> working on Top Gear, but um, I really like these things. I would say if you bought a set of coal overs and you just want that little bit extra in terms of handling, I'd definitely get a set of these. Definitely the H&R ones. I think the only other manufacturer I've seen not that I've researched it that well is I think White Line do a set for uh, this platform as well so I'll maybe have a look at them I think they're a little bit cheaper as well but I don't know if there's any videos out there just off an alternative but definitely H&R's for I think I paid just over 400 quid for these on top of a set of coilovers yeah I know it's more out there but if you can afford it definitely 1 million percent do it um i love these things so yeah uh, that's kind of suspension done with for now i have bought some power flex bushes they've not gone on yet um we'll see if we do them in the next sort of 12 months or whatever 
Um, I think what I might do is if I decide to do power flex brushes, we'll do them as a full set rather than just certain ones. Um, I want some, I've got adjustable or I want some adjustable ones just to help with the alignment as well, just to, so we can get it set up. But we'll see how we go with tires and stuff over the next 12 months. So we might do power flex brushes, a full set of power flex brushes probably next year. So we'll see. Next on list is uh, probably a set of Porsche McCann front brakes i like the sf tuning kit so i think we might do that later this year def we're definitely going to do golf gti front seats mainly because louise give me a bit of grief or has been for many years about the front bench seat so it's more a case of switching it over to being two singles in the front rather than a single at a bench uh and aesthetics gonna look a bit uh better as well it's just a case of the timing on that when we're going to do that and then i think possibly next winter I'm going to redo the camper element of it so that's still in like the planning phase and stuff at the minute so if you're interested in all that see what I'm going to do next I'm going to be developing this van for at least another couple of years I reckon um, I don't have any intention of selling it especially with you know what's happening with the new T7 platform with Ford and VW I think people are going to start hanging on to you know the t5s the t6s and basically this platform so i don't want to shell out for that i don't want to upgrade so i'm i plan on keeping this van for a long time and developing it over the next two three four five years uh, into something that's hopefully pretty special um yeah so if you like the sound of that please subscribe i'll keep churning videos out a lot of people seem to watch them and i think we're nearly at 500 subscribers now channel which is ridiculous bearing in mind it's just me with my camera phone a 10 pound mic from china and uh yeah just talking about my van so see people seem to be interested so if um while people are interested i'll, I'll keep doing it but yeah stay tuned uh, more coming this year as well i'm going to start doing some day art videos as well see what i actually use this van for as well as just being my car but um yeah thanks for watching uh like subscribe and all that good stuff uh yeah stay tuned there's more coming